When you multiply by a 9, lots of cool things happen that help us remember the rules of multiplying by a 9. Oops. So, for example, 9 times, oops, sorry, 9 times 1 is 9. And 9 times 2 is 18. 9 times 3 is 27. And we might start to see a pattern already. One thing to notice is that when you take 9 and multiply it by 1, you get 9. And that's a multiple of 9. And then 9 times 2 is 18, the second multiple of 9. Well, you might notice that 1 plus 8 equals 9. And then here, 9 times 3 is 27. Well, 2 plus 7 equals 9. In fact, if we take 9 times 4 to get 36, we take 3 and add 6, we also get 9. Now this might be really helpful for us because as we multiply all the 9's by 4, 5, and 6 and so forth, we get 45 and 54, and then every time we add these two digits up, we get 9. It's a really great check for multiplying 9. Because you can always ask if you get the right answer by checking to see if the two digits add up to 9. If they don't, your answer is incorrect. And this goes all the way up, 9 times 7, 9 times 8, 9 times 9 still works. 9 times 7 is 63. And I know I'm right because 6 plus 3 equals 9. And then 9 times 8, well, it's 72. It's the only number in the 70s. If we add two digits that we get 9, so it's 7 plus 2 or 9. And then 9 times 9 is 81. And 8 plus 1 is also 9. So I know that's correct. It's the only number in the 80s where the two digits equal 9. Now 9 times 10 is 90 and it still works because well 9 times 10 is 90 and 9 plus 0 is still just 9. What about 9 times 11? Well we'll get back to that one in a minute. Another quick check that I used to think about all the time was that well how do I know what 9 times 2 is? Well I remember, first of all, the two digits have to add up to 9, and they do here. But also, 9 times 2, all right, again over here, I think, well, multiply 9 by 2, so the first digit has to be a 1, which is less than 2, and then, well, the next digit to add to 9 is 8, so it's 1, 8, or 18. 9 times 3 is 2, 7. Again, that second digit here is a 3. It's a factor we're multiplying by 9. So the first digit of the next number has to be 2, 1 less than 3. 9 times 4, well, here's a 4. So now our first digit needs to be a 3. And then it has to be 3, 6, or 36. 9 times 5 equals 45. Again, the first number is 1 less than 5. 9 times 6 equals 63. Sorry, see I'm wrong here, and even before I think about it, and there's a lot of different ways to think about it, again, I'm following the pattern. The first digit here should be 1 less than the 6, so it's 50 and then 4, because the 5 and the 4 need to add to 9. Well, 9 times 7 has to be 63. 9 times, I think you get the pattern, 9 times 8 is 72. 9 times 9 is 81, and then so forth. Now. Back to 9 times 11. Well, 9 times 11 is 99. And then if we take these two digits, 9 plus 9, we get 18. And then if we take 18, we take 1 plus 8, we still get 9. In fact, a really cool thing about 9 is that it doesn't matter if it's a 2 or 3 digit number. Let's take 9 times 25. 9 times 25, well, I'm going to use the distributive property here. 9 times 20 is 180, plus 9 times 5 is 45. 180 plus 45 is 225. Now, 2 plus 2 plus 5, what's that? Well, that's 4 plus 5, and that's 9. Every time you multiply by 9, if you keep adding up the digits, eventually you'll get back to a multiple of 9 that you recognize. It's a really great property of 9. So multiplying by 9s is great because you can always add the digits and get a multiple of 9 that you recognize.